welcome to Technique Friday. Now today I'm only going to be doing a short little tutorial about three different ways that you can use cling wrap on your art journal pages. So today I'm going to demonstrate the cling wrap film when you use it with acrylic inks which you can substitute watercolors for when you're using it in washes. The next technique will be acrylic paints and then the final technique will how to use it to create beautiful texture with modeling paste. Okay, let's begin. So the first technique I'm going to be using some Schmink Acrylic Artist inks and uh, I got these on my Crafty Crusaders design team box and I will also be using them on the Crafty Crusaders design team blog and videos but for the purpose of today this is for Technique Friday. So I've got some of these inks. Now these inks are really really highly pigmented so what I'll be doing is just unstoppering them and they have these beautiful glass bottles with glass droppers and I'm just going to use magenta yellow and white because I know that when they all mix together they will not make mud and I'm very much a proponent of not making mud unless I intend to make mud because <laughs> of course in our journaling sometimes we want mud so what I'm going to do first is just spray my Canson watercolor so I'm using Canson watercolor 185 GSM paper so I'm going to spray my Canson paper watercolor paper first so that I've got a wet medium because what I really want these things to do is just stop her while I'm doing this and bleed because I'm today I'm not going to be using much of a brush and I'm going to drop some right in and I'm going to use some white as well just to do something different. Right, you're getting an almost kind of snowflakey design in some areas. But the next thing I'm going to do now with that is just to pull out my glider up, take a long bit off. Oh, that new design is horrible. There was this big outrage about glider up putting the thing on the top. Okay, so this the idea for this is that it will be crinkled. And what you want to do is just move this around and blend it through the cling wrap. And as you can see, that's making those blending colours together. And you want it to stick. So then when you've blended it the way that you want to blend it, then you leave it to stick. Make sure it's really embedded in that paper. Now you leave it like that and you let it dry and you completely let it dry. So I'm going to pop that away and start with the next one. So again, this time I'm going to use acrylic paints. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using Liquitex, Magenta, Light Aqua and I'm going to use a Montmartre flesh tint which is like a Naples yellow. Now when I use acrylic paints with these, I don't tend to water it down so much. I like the contrast of using them a little bit thicker. So I'm going to put a blob of that there. A blob of the magenta near it and over here. And the yellow or the flesh tint, but it's very much like a Naples yellow lovely and buttery over here over here over here and I'm gonna smoosh that around a little bit with my brush today and I'm gonna leave my brush wet right so that I can move the paint and blend it the way that I want to blend it I'm gonna start with that magenta first and I'm gonna bring it down here but I'm gonna move some of this yellow into it and bring that across and then have it really nice and strong over here and start doing some awesome kind of blending and then I'm going to just blot that a bit, wash that brush out 
then dry it out on a napkin and blend this. So I'm going to blend this together because I know that if I bring that across it's going to do some awesome things in that blending process including making a beautiful purple. So I've got that nice big fat mess. Now on top of that I'm just going to blob just for interest the yellow again. And I'm just going to leave those blobs there so that you can see them, right? And now I'm going to pull out my cling film. And again, it comes out crumpled and you want it crumpled. And just pop that over, only enough so that it gets roughly to the edges. But if it doesn't, the lifting of it will be awesome as well. And then you can just really move that whatever way you like. And then let that dry. The last one, which I think is the most exciting one. And all of these will become our journal pages. Right, so the last one that I've got here, and I'll just wipe up a little bit of that ink there. Much as I love magenta, <laughs> I'm not going to colour. So the, for this one, I'm going to use moulding paste. And I'm actually going to pull some moulding paste out. And I'm just using a Liquitex light modelling paste here. I'm just going to pull that out. And I'm going to use a little bit of ink. No, I'm going to use a little bit of paint, I think. Just a touch of paint. I'm just going to mix that in. I'm using Atelier Free Flow semi-transparent cobalt, cobalt turquoise because you know I love my teal okay so we have that just wipe this excess off so I can put my page there so I have my white page now what I want to do for this is different from the others so I'm not going to apply it to the paper directly So what I'm going to do is actually apply it to the cling film. And try and grab all of it from wherever you've mixed it. Now, the thing I like to do with this then is to grab that up and just squish it around so it's really coating all of and getting that crumpled look and feel to it and you get light parts of it on your cling film so I'll just pop that in water so what I'm going to do now is just apply it in a blotting manner so okay so it's really random and really textured and this is a way to apply molding paste that's a little bit messy and you can get back in and mold it if you don't like the texture the first time and I love it it's messy but my fingers don't get messy it's one of the things I love about this and you've just got some random texture that you can then have clean hands with so 
the only thing that I you might want to do then is you can see that on the edge can you see the depth okay really tall so I'm just going to go in with my finger and see how I've got the finger just creating more of that texture there it's the random pattern that I like and that molding paste now just needs to completely dry and then you've got this background that you can spray that you can paint over that you can do some more stenciling on and if you want something that's lumpy bumpy you can leave it like this if you want to smooth it out you can smooth it out you can stamp in it so I could get a random foam stamp now just have to have one just have one handy so a foam stamp and just stamp in there like that and then repeat the image just to flatten out the stamping and that's all in modeling paste and that'll create a resist remember clean off your stamps immediately if you do this kind of impression method and you just have that basic recurring pattern so I'm going to stop this now completely wait for all three of those pages to dry I'll go and pop them in the Sun so they dry faster and then I'll be back to finish off the lesson okay so these are completely dry I left them outside all day in and it was really warm and windy and I think a, an insect got on them, when I left them outside um, but that's okay that's more than okay because they're nice and toasty dry and that's what we need so the big reveal so this is actually the inks and so we just peel that off and have a look at that effect I love it it kind of almost looks like a bit of an ink blot and of course it's dry and you throw that away so that's a permanent layer now that's inks so it's permanent and doesn't move and that's one of the things that I love about using inks or permanent things this is the uh, molding paste and I can tell you that looking at this it has shrunk down a lot it's actually upside down so this is the way that I did it before it's shrunk a lot and all the water has gone out of the paste and it's toasty toasty dry and it's nowhere near as high in the texture but it has some awesome texture there loving that acrylic paint so this still kind of looks wet but it's not it's dry so let's pull off the plastic and because this was out in the Sun the plastic will have melted a bit that is so textured almost like I used modeling paste so here we go let me just zoom this in a lot all right have a look at the texture in that it is gorgeous and the colors have melded the splotches that I did it's all toasty dry it would dry I always recommend that you let them dry once you take the plastic off that you continue to let them air dry so that the skin can really harden um, but have a look at the awesome texture in that I'm just loving it I think that it is amazing have a look at that so that is technique Friday for this week you can do whatever you like with that now or you can use it you can use it as a background or you can do whatever you like I person I think my personal favorite is probably the inks but I love that I'm surprised at how gorgeous and textured that one came I know that I've done this technique before and I've used really really thin glaze paints and it gives and you can layer it then it looks really really awesome anyway until next week learn something new today it keeps you young